Let's look at different list operations in a little bit more detail. So there are different operations that you can uh, perform on list, you can append elements, you can insert, you can find, you can remove, concatenate, etc., etc. Okay, so let's start with appending elements. So appending elements mean what? That you can add an element to an existing list. Okay. So what are we doing here? So in line one, we are creating friends as an empty list. This line does what? Appends this member to this list. So friends was an empty list. So the first member is Harry. Append Emily to the same list. Append Bob to the same list and so on. So Harry, Emily, Bob, Carrie are now members of that empty list. Right? which is now populated obviously. So the first line makes this, then you do this, you append Harry, right? To that empty list, so it was empty. Now you appended first member, which is at index zero now. Index one is Emily, index two is Bob, index three is Carry. okay? Similarly, there's another command called insert, which can be used to insert at a specific position. Append adds a member to the end of the list. So Emily, when you append, Bob comes after Emily, right? And so on, Kelly comes after Bob. If you want to insert in the list, you can give the index and say insert this member. So index zero was Harry right? One is Emily, two is Bob. When you say this statement, insert one Cindy, so Cindy comes where? At index one. And all the other members get shifted one place down. So Because of this statement, Cindy comes in there and Emily, Bob and Carrie go a step or index below. Okay? Then you can find elements in a list. So there are certain different ways. If you give a specific member or a specific text saying, if this in friends do something, right? And again, we are gonna learn more about ifs and fors and so on in the coming lectures. So this all will become more clear then. So if Cindy in friends, what is friends? Friends is the list name. Cindy is a, a string. Then do this thing that print, she's a friend. Then often you want to know the position at which an element occurs. Then you can find index of that uh, member. So you say friends, which is the list name dot index give the list member and it will say zero one. One is Emily, so Emily one goes in N, okay? But this is highly unlikely in our class. But again, just showing you that it does exist there, out there. To remove an element, you use the pop function. You say list name dot pop that index. So what is index one? Cindy. When you pop it, this happens, right? So Cindy is popped, meaning Cindy is gone. What happens to the empty list? As insertion, this goes the other way. So all of them are shifted one space back, okay? So the list, list length is reduced by one. Then concatenation. So concatenation of two lists is the new list that contains elements of the first list followed by the second. So if you have my friends, your friends, you say concatenate them or add them. 
it will be Fritz Cindy first, followed by Lee Patton Fong. Fritz Cindy followed by this. Right? Replication. So with strings, you can replicate lists as new lists. So if you have a given list as one, two, three, you say replicate it four times. Replicate this list four times. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So month and quarter is now this list, right? Then one common use of replication is to initialize a list with a fixed value, right? So when you do something like this, you will have uh, you will have uh, zero repeated twelve times, okay? To test something for equality, you use the double equal operator. Okay. This tests the equality. Single equals is the assignment operator. Double equals is the uh, equality testing operator. That you test whether something is equal to something or not. In this case, we are saying test whether this list is equal to the other list. This returns true. This returns false. Why? Because one is not equal to four. Although the members are the same in the list, but this is not the same list. So equality basically checks for sameness. In the same order, uh, the members are present or not. Although the both lists have same members, but the order is different. So it returns false. And opposite of equals is not equal, which is represented by exclamation equals. Hence, these two return true, or this statement returns true. Then you can find the sum, the max, the min of the elements in a given list. Simple like straightforward functions, sum of all the elements in the list will return 30. Max of this is what? 16. Min of this. So this is text. So the only thing to remember is um, that in computer language, in ASCII or Unicode, uh, that the character set that the computers use, each character is represented by a number. Okay, it starts, I think, from 47, goes to 97, something like that. So A is less than, B is less than C, and then all of these up till Z, and then capital A starts. Okay, or uppercase A starts. So F is greater than A, and S is greater than A and F. So in this case, what is the minimum, meaning the first letter, which is the smallest is this A. Hence, N will be picked, okay? In this case, minimum of Anna, N, and N is what? Let's do all of these in order. So minimum of Anna, N, and Sue is what? Clearly, N because this letter is same as this, this letter is same, this letter is same, but now this one ends. So this is the smaller one than this one. Okay. Similar logic for the second one. It yields A, N, N with a single N. The third one is A, M because M is smaller than N. A's are the same. What about this final one? It yields a n. Which one? We don't know and we don't care. In the min function that is. Okay. But if you want to see the index. 
you can write something like this and it will print zero which is this index like the first index okay index zero so make sure you understand this code so what you're doing in the first line you're creating a list then you're saying find me the minimum from this list and put it in here okay in name then we say at that index um, like find the member uh, sorry the the index for this member which was a n and it will give you when you print the index it should give you zero then if you want to sort the lists there's a sort function you just give the uh, list name dot sort with uh, empty parentheses and the values or that list will be sorted uh, in increasing order you can do it with uh, numerics you can do it with strings so the sort function will work with a given list name okay then if you remember earlier we said that if you do something like this assignment of uh, a list name to another you're just creating another alias or reference so if you want to do something like this you have to write something like with the list uh, function you just say take this list create a new list call it prices that's what this list function does so now it will create two memory locations if you change member of values let's say at index one two three this list will not be affected as opposed to the case we saw earlier okay then a very important thing in um, analytics or data science is that you can get slices of a list meaning that you can take a look function on work with parts of a list okay so the um, uh, syntax is this thing the first element to include and the first to exclude meaning it will iterate over six seven eight so include six then seven then eight and don't include this so that's what this syntax is first element to include first to exclude give the list name separated by a colon and it will create a new list called third quarter okay Then extending this, if you write something like this, it starts from element zero or index zero and goes till index five. Remember this is excluding the first one. Then if you write something like this, it takes starts from six, goes till the end of the list. You can assign values, you can change them, you can read them, whatever you can do with this uh, range operator. So colon is essentially a range operator. So six, seven, eight, and not nine. Then the slide basically lists uh, different functions. Uh, the book lists them as well. Take a look at these, read them, make sure you understand what's happening and that is essentially it